hey guys top of the day to you and i wish you the very best of 2022 so in this video i want to show you how you can connect your custom email address i mean the kind of email address where you have info at example.com contact at facebook.com you know and i want to show you how you can connect it with your gmail app now if you want to do that you can go to your gmail app then click on that profile icon then scroll down then you click on add another account now if you want to add that you just click on order so i want to connect this email contact at alphawebagency.com.ng to my gmail now i'm going to use personal imap you know my web hosting company is nameship and i also get my domain name from them now if you want to have this kind of email you don't necessarily have to go through the stress of using Microsoft Office 365 or, and all that. What you have to do is get your 10,000 Naira or maybe $20 ready. You can create that kind of email for whatever kind of business or for whatever kind of purpose you want to create it for, for you. And it lasts for one year. Now, if you want to create that kind of email yourself, you must have a web hosting account, then a domain name. So when you have the two, all you have to do is log on to your domain to a hosting C panel, go to your email account, create account, you get the password, and you get the configuration set up. Now, if you don't want to go through that stress, I can actually help you out. Now, in my previous video, I I walked you through how you can connect that kind of email, your custom or business email address, or the email address associated with your domain name with Outlook desktop app. So if you are working on your desktop, you don't have to be checking your phone every time. You can just log on to your email, send any email you want to send, or can check if you have an email now if you want to make use of your phone you want to make use of your gmail or outlook app it's this same process i'm going to show you that you follow now when you when you are done with that all you have to do now you can either make use of pop3 or imap4 or pass this personal imap so i'm going to use imap now you click on imap already have the password now you click on next again the server is this the server to be imap dot my domain name then you click on validating server okay don't mind this don't mind this if you remove the imap what happens we're trying to troubleshoot what will happen now if you remove the imap approach sorry for that mistake now it takes you to the outgoing server you can see you click on next again all right almost done you want to set up the how frequently you want to be notified you can do that here you can do these sections as per your preference now this is the email that this is the name that will display on anywhere you send that email to for our agency support click on this it is done now if you want to check you can then scroll down this is it here and presently i think i have one email address one email one email in my inbox so you take a while before it is signed with your 